there is few types of curses the first one that's common one and that's the generational curse a generational curse is when a curse gets passed on from one generation to another a statistic says if your father was an alcoholic you have a 10 times higher likelihood of becoming an alcoholic I remember reading a story this today actually about a correction officer who was working in a prison and he noticed he met this man who was in prison because he molested his own child and after a few months of praying for this man he finally led him to Jesus Christ and this man repented of his sins and he mentioned how his own father molested him and he mentioned how his father was molested and and this correction officer who was a Christian he says I can't believe such a disgusting thing that happened in this family and he says my idea that generational curses are not real he said it was shattered into pieces by meeting this family sometimes we bury our head in the sand and we pretend the reality doesn't exist but the Bible says iniquity of the fathers get visited up to four generations there is possible to be in a family where there is a curse and it passes on from one family to another there is a story about two famous families and these families lived about a hundred years ago one of them is Jonathan Edwards and the other one is uh, Max Jukes and this is a long story about how they got uh, circulated too but I'll just read difference between their families you can see on one the guy who looks like a priest he represents the Edwards and the other guy represents Jukes most of you heard this I'm gonna repeat it for you 300 out of a thousand two hundred of this guy's descendants so one out of four they were very very poor one out of four died in infancy from lack of good care and lack of good conditions 50% of women no 50 women they lived in a very promiscuous like prostitution lifestyle 400 men and women were physically wretched early by their own wickedness seven were murderers 60 had hab were habitual thieves who spent on average 12 years each in lawlessness 130 were criminals who were convinced more than once of a crime now compare around the same time this man's family Jonathan Edwards one of them was was a US vice president three of them were US senators three of them were governors three of them were mayors 13 were college presidents 30 were judges 65 were professors 80 held public office service a hundred were lawyers a hundred were missionaries pastors and theologians definitely in this family and in this family there were few people who were doing good but the most of the family had really bad and the other one most of the family was doing really good generational curses are real we see that in the Bible like David's family and then we see the Saul's family where it seems like a crooked tree and the other we see where somewhat established tree where people follow God's path and God's will and God wants to break generational curses and release generational blessings upon our life can I get a witness in this place